Hey, on last week's episode, we talked about mistakes that many new writers make. In fact, I see a lot of experienced writers making these same mistakes as well. In that discussion last week, we talked about counter-steering, and a lot of you guys expressed interest in how to practice the techniques of counter-steering, so that's what we're going to cover today. Hey, my name's Kevin. I'm the host here at MC Writer, where we release a weekly video to help you become a better writer. MC Writer is supported by our friends on Patreon, who also get access to the field guide that has many of the training techniques that we work on that you can load up on your smartphone, Android or iPhone, and practice these techniques on your own on any open parking lot. Stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll introduce you to a new coworker that I brought on board here at MC Writer who's going to be helping me out making these videos. In fact, he's here with me today and I'll introduce you to him at the end of this video. So last week we mentioned counter steering. So just to refresh what counter steering actually is, we're talking about turning a motorcycle at road speed. So if I'm riding down the road, we'll say 10 miles per hour or up is when counter steering starts to take place. If I'm riding down the road, I've got my hands on the handlebars. If I push on the right hand grip, the motorcycle is gonna lean or turn to the right. If I push on the left hand grip, pushing out on that hand grip, the motorcycle is gonna lean and turn to the left. A motorcycle turns by leaning, and the way you make a motorcycle lean is by pushing on the hand grip in the direction you want the motorcycle to turn. So this week we're going to go out on a parking lot, and we're going to show you a couple of exercises that you can work on and that you can get a feel for counter steering and help develop that into your natural riding habits or your instincts on a motorcycle so that if you're running wide in the corner, or you need a little bit extra lean to the motorcycle to get around a corner, you'll rely on counter steering instead of fighting the motorcycle through the corner. And it's also going to make your cornering much smoother by using this counter steering technique. Before we go out to the parking lot today to show you the technique that we're working on, you'll see me using cones similar to this. Now you can purchase these on Amazon. Uh, you get a set of 10, I think for about $16 right now. I highly recommend a cone like this for new riders to start out on because if the motorcycle runs over it, the cone is just gonna crush and you, you'll barely even feel it if you run over this cone. So something like this is really uh, helpful when you get out on the range, particularly for exercises like we're gonna do today. If you go to mcrider.com slash cone, that'll forward you on to Amazon where you can purchase a set of 10 of these orange cones and use them when you go out to practice. Here's my range setup. I've got five cones out on the parking lot, each cone about 35 to 40 feet apart. So you will need a rather large parking lot to work on this. We're working on that counter steering technique, so if I push on that left hand grip, the motorcycle's gonna lean left and go left. If I push on that right hand grip, the motorcycle's gonna lean right and go right. So in this exercise, you're wanting to get a feel for just using that hand grip pressure to get the motorcycle to lean in that direction and go in that direction at about 10 or 15 miles per hour. Here I'm in first gear and I'm getting the motorcycle up to 10 or 15 miles per hour and just using hand grip pressure on the left and right handlebars to get the motorcycle to lean left and lean right and go left and go right. After you get a feel for counter steering with the cones in the straight line, move every other cone out about oh, five to 10 feet and that'll increase your challenge to continue working on the skill. 
This is also a good time to work on your head and eye placement. I'm not looking down at the cones, but I'm keeping my head and eyes up and I'm looking across the parking lot using my peripheral vision to watch for the cones. It's important when you're practicing this technique to keep your speed in check. Remember, it's not a race to get to the other end of the parking lot, but you want to be going fast enough so that the motorcycle will want to counter steer. So we're talking about 10 miles per hour and up. I think during this exercise, I probably never got over 15 miles per hour as you were watching me ride and the motorcycle was in first gear. So depending on the gearing of your motorcycle, but you want to be going in that 10 to 15 miles per hour. And that also depends on how far you space your cones apart as well. But you want to be going fast enough so that the motorcycle will counter steer rather than having to use a slow technique to get the motorcycle to turn. So I hope you found this video helpful. We'll be back next Friday with a new episode to help make you a better rider. And until next Friday, guys, this is Ken with MC Rider. And we'll see you on the road. As we continue to grow here at MC Rider, it becomes impossible for one guy to do all this by himself. So today I would like to introduce you to a new coworker that I brought on board. Now he's gonna be helping me out. He'll be here at my side as I edit video and he's learning everything he can about riding a motorcycle right now. And I, to be honest with you, I doubt that he's ever gonna be able to ride one on his own. But I wanted to introduce you to him and you'll be seeing him pop up from time to time in future videos. <laughs> you can tell that he's not very uh, trained at this point. And he's got really bad breath right now. But this is Major. You'll see Major popping up in videos from time to time. You'll probably see him inspecting the garage and making sure the tires are fully inflated as I'm doing videos in the future. So, welcome Major on board. He'll be helping us out here on MC Rider from here on out. We'll see you guys. Don't bite my finger. Nope, no biting. <laughs> MC Rider is supported by our friends on Patreon. To learn how to support MC Rider and get access to the field guide, go to mcrider.com support.